something feels off in the shot, editing will make it disappear. And let me show you how. Let's start by creating tracks using M-Tracker Surface, which you can find in M-Extension. The first step in cleaning up the recording will be removing the photographer. In M-Tracker Surface, we delete the default layer with the image track and add a mask layer. We select the photographer so that M-Tracker Surface excludes this area from the later track, the region where we'll replace the texture. If we didn't do this, our later track would become unstable. Next, we add an image layer and mark the area that we'll replace with a texture without the photographer. After completing the track, we'll add another M Tracker surface and track the next areas that we want to remove in the final version. We'll start by tracking the area of the road markings, which compositionally draw too much attention when looking at this shot. Later, I will want to replace them with clean asphalt. In this case, I don't need to mask any area because this part of the video is static. Also note that each time I add a new instance of M Tracker surface, and the final area of the frame that we'll want to replace with a queened texture is the section of the road where the couple is standing. Later, you'll see how I handled the fact that I want to keep the couple, but only replace the street they are standing on. We start by tracking a mask around the area where the people are, and then we add an image layer and mark the section that we'll want to replace with the cleaned texture. At this point, we've prepared the shot, but we still need the cleaned texture. So we save a frame as a PNG using Save Current Frame and move to Photoshop, where we'll clean up the frame and remove the distracting elements. In Photoshop, just like in the previous tutorials, we individually select the fragments we want to remove. After making a selection, we click the Remove button in the Generative Fill menu. I repeat this process as many times as needed for the number of elements we want to remove. Of course, we could select everything at once, but from experience, I know that working on individual fragments gives better results. After those steps, we flatten the texture, save it, and return to Final Cut. In the Publish list, click on the placeholder icon, then select your texture and click Apply Clip. If the M Tracker Surface instance had a mask, at this stage we disable its visibility. When replacing a photograph, we use full screen image insert mode. Don't forget to place the texture while the project playhead is positioned at the frame where we saved our screenshot, and then click Set Current Frame. We repeat this process for all M Tracker Surface instances. Quick note, at this stage we also recommend rendering the composition with the ready instances of M Tracker Surface if you're working on older machines, since this is a demanding effect. Let's get back to the tutorial. In the place where we replace the section of asphalt on which the bride and groom are standing, we use the effect masking option with a magnetic mask. Click on the effect masking icon and select Add Magnetic Mask. Then mark the object you want to mask. In our case, the bride and groom. It is very important to expand the mask options again and check invert masks, because by default, masking causes the effect to be applied to the masked object. By clicking invert mask, we exclude the masked object from the effect. There is an area where our replaced texture did not cover the entire road. This happened because the frame we cleaned in Photoshop did not include that section. This is a common situation when replacing a texture in full screen mode. That's why we always need to check whether each frame of our video is cleaned up the way we want. We select the frame with the uncleaned area, save it, and then go back to Photoshop again and remove an unwanted part using generative fill. We go back to Final Cut, and this time I'll show you an alternative method of using a texture in M Tracker Surface to make sure that the entire video segment looks exactly the way we want. For small fragments like the one we have, this method is sufficient. We apply a new instance of M Tracker Surface, and as the input for the placeholder, we use the newly processed texture. Instead of full screen mode, we select the default option, and in the M Tracker Surface interface, 
we go to Corner Pin in the Image Distortion Tools section. Then, we stretch the texture so that it visually matches our composition. The last thing we'll do with this composition is color grading to bring the shot to life visually. We'll start with the built-in color board to adjust brightness and contrast, and then we'll use M Film Look to apply a LUT and add a flare that will make the shot stand out even more. For the grading, I'll choose a LUT that gives a cinematic look. As for the flare, I want to use the actual position of the sun in this shot and place it off screen, just to emphasize the sun's location and add a subtle glare. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.